Hey guys, what is up? Good morning. Welcome back to Vlogtober day 26. I literally don't know what this vlog is going to be, but it is Monday. It is October 26, which is crazy. There is officially one week exactly until my planners launch, which is insane. I, if this has come too quick and I just, I, I am speechless. So yeah, I'm very excited. There's lots to do this week, so I need to get to work. I have some orders to package. I also have a few open orders that I need to process. So I'm going to do like the tally and then print and cut those things. So I'm hoping to have zero open orders by Wednesday, fingers crossed. So then Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I can focus on um, working on the planners and doing like listings and pictures and stuff. And I'm going to be posting a lot on Instagram and all of that. And then I also am possibly going to be designing some monthly kits and some functional stickers to go along with the planners. So fingers crossed I can get that all done. I also need to, excuse me, design a postcard that's going to be going in with the planners when they get shipped. So we have a lot to do this week. I do have my planner out, which is one of my new ones, which I'm very excited. I'm pretty sure I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to show you a different way of me planning because I did do a like full on sticker week um, just to give you guys an example in the reveal video. But I also really want to show you guys a, an example of like what like more minimal planning would look like in the planner. So I might try to do that. I'm not quite sure. I also have the other planner, which I should be really planning in actually because this one I wanted to start in 2021. So I guess this could be like my photo and like test planner and then I could, once I get the huge shipment in, use another one for my actual planner. Um, I think that would probably be the best option. So maybe I'll just show you guys in this planner and this will be just what I plan in until 2021 probably a better idea so anyways I will show you guys that a little bit later possibly if I have enough time but for now I'm going to eat my breakfast I have a breakfast sandwich a banana and then my coffee which is in a spooky mug because this week it's officially Halloween week Halloween is on Saturday so that's exciting and so I'm going to finish this stuff up and then we are going to get to packaging some orders and stuff like that so without further ado let's get this work day started shall we <laughs>
Okay guys, so I am officially finished working for the day. I look quite interesting today. I apologize, but I am finished working for the day. You guys saw that I did plan out my week. I will show you that in one second, but I do need to go to the post office. And then what else do I need to do? I need to edit the vlog from the last two days and get that up. So it's pretty much gonna be what I'm doing for the rest of the day, but let me um, turn you guys around and I will show you the planner setup, which is so cute. I really went for just very icon heavy. Um, there's only one full box and just a bunch of cute icons that I love. So, so here is the planner setup. I used a ton of paper shire as well as some cute washi. We used a lot of the fox and cactus girls, some foiled stuff. Um, fox and cactus, aka Emma, shout out to her. She gave me a few extra sheets and one of them were these really cute like Halloween doodles so I kind of put those throughout the spread there's a bunch of these cute like stars and stuff little skulls little like plants and a bone and a little moon up here which is really cute I added one full box from my basic witch um kit so I put that up there just for a full box and that is everything. So like I said, I'm going to head to the post office now. I have my week planned out. Everything's good to go. Tomorrow I'm going to be finishing up some processing of some orders and then I'm going to be taking some pictures. We're gonna do like a photo shoot of the planners, which obviously I need like pictures for Instagram and stuff, but then I also need the very simple, just like front cover pictures for listings. I'm gonna take some pictures of the inside of the planners and stuff like that for the listings, um, and yeah, very, very excited. You have to uh, find out who's the first player. Don't look at who, don't look, just grab one. Who is it? Left it right. is obviously left. <laughs> the first player is me. Hello, everybody, and welcome to watching, Watch struggle. <laughs> watching Jenna and Francis. Struggle with Try to game. figure out how to play Viticulture, the a really edition. hard board game. <laughs> oh, that's <sad>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Penny is the cutie pretty. It's not really hard. I think it's just there's just so many, so many different things, different you can things, do. so many options. But I think once we uh, understand it, I think, I baby, I think uh, get uh, get yourself, one each? Um, yeah, one of each. Purple is the, the the wine order, right? Oh, dang. I wish I got John and Christine. Ah, <laughs> Christine and Joel. That's so cute. All right, let's just... Papa Alan and Papa Steven. Okay, so these are my characters, I guess. But I have Mama Jess and Papa Steven. And then Francis has... Oh, there's such a bad glare on these cards. She, He's got... Mama Christine and Papa Joel, very close to my parents' names, but this also looks like my sister's husband, kind of looks like Matthew. But anyways, yeah, and then this is our board. That's the like main game board, and then that's Francis's board, and also Francis's Oreos. Fatty McGee. I, I eat it because I can afford to, because I don't have cavities. Oh, shut up. Penny's real excited, too. Okay, guys, so like we were saying, we are now playing some viticulture. We had some dinner, and oh, I look so rough. I edited the vlog, got that up, and this is what we're going to do for the rest of the night. So, yeah, wish us luck. This is what we usually like to do when we get new games, is we play mm -hmm. it just the two we of us. test run it. So we like, yeah, so we can figure out how to play ourselves before we teach anybody else, so...
<laughs> Guess who won? <laughs> this girl! <laughs> I win, dude. Really Guys, literally, this is so much fun. I just kicked the box. But I definitely recommend, if you are a fan of, like, any sort of, like, farming, if you ever liked Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, I guess Animal I wouldn't Crossing say doesn't it. really happen. Uh, yeah, I guess it is, You're, like, choosing to, like, plant your, your crops, not really your crops, your vines for your wine, and then you're, like, choosing to, to make your wine, and you, like, fill orders and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's so much fun. It's really fun. I really like It is like really that. fun. Obviously, it's our first time think... playing it, but I really think we're going to like this one. I think your parents and your family will like yeah. it as well. It'll be interesting. Well, I mean, people At don't first. really recommend it with six players because I guess it, it kind of drags. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, but apparently three to four is really fun. So uh, I'm definitely excited to play with uh, Ash and Tom. Mm -hmm. says, I think they'll like them. it. I think they'll like it too. Let's see if we can get them to buy Viticulture. <laughs> <laughs> we got them to buy Everdell. We got them to buy off. so many things already. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna, we're gonna clean this up. I might practice a little bit more guitar, but I need to, I'm going to the dentist in the morning, guys. I'm getting three cavities filled in the morning. At 9.20 a.m., she says it's gonna be like a three-hour appointment. I'm going into surgery, my friends. Wow, that's long. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my last appointment, my like just original appointment was like not even an hour. So, <laughs> I'm so scared. <sighs> I hate needles. I hate them so much, so wish me luck. Um, but yeah, we're gonna clean up and then we're gonna head upstairs. Like I said, I might play a little bit of guitar and then we're gonna head to bed and I'll talk to you guys upstairs. Let's see that fit, babe. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn boy. <laughs> he got some new pants. Yeah, I'm excited about them. I'm gonna steal them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so cool! I love them! Uh, so I had to try them on too. <laughs> They're so cool! Okay friends, we are up in our bedroom. As you guys just saw, we were trying on some pants that Francis got in the mail today, which we got them, or he got them from Kidori Man. And uh, we're ordering some more because we like them so much. He's getting two more pairs, I'm getting two pairs. He's buying them for me for my birthday. <laughs> That's in like a month. Mm -hmm. Wow, my birthday's in like a month. A little over a month. Holy crap. I'm turning 27. That's crazy. But anyways, I am obsessed with these pants and I'm very excited to receive my two. And I'm, I'm going to be probably stealing his as well. Mm -hmm. we, we wear the same <laughs> size, so he's welcome to wear mine as well. <laughs> um, but anyways, I have two questions to answer. One is um, from the one and only Chrissy, I believe that's, or Crycy, Crycy, Chrissy. I'm assuming it's Chrissy. I apologize if it's not. But um, she says, nice color, makes the room look bigger, just like you said. Question, where did you get your towel rods from? The towel rods that we have in our bathroom, I'm almost positive we got them from Home Depot, but they could also be from Lowe's. One of the two. But we got them over a year ago, so I don't know if they offer them anymore, but I absolutely love them. They're like the black ones. We also have a toilet paper roll for the bathroom too, but I can't freaking get the other toilet paper roll off of our vanity. So I'm trying to figure that out. We might just have to wait until we get a new vanity, which I don't know when that's going to be. Um, cause I just painted the one that we have and it looks good. So anyways, yes, they're from Home Depot or Lowe's. And then the second question is from Reshwanda, I believe is your name, Reshwanda D. And she says, my daughter loves the color of your studio. If you don't mind, what color is it? So the color that I painted the um, office, Planning Rose's office, is called Cabbage Rose from Sherwin-Williams. It is such a gorgeous, warm, dusty pink. I definitely recommend it to anyone that is wanting like that sort of color. Um, but she says, mom of a 15 year old, <laughs> that is so cute. I love that. 
um, and I love the colors you picked. I want to paint one of the walls in my bedroom, but I'm not sure where to start with a color palette, but I know I want something in the blue or gray family. Any recommendations? So I am a huge fan of Sherwin-Williams, so anybody watching that has connections with Sherwin-Williams, I'd love to um, work with them because I'm just obsessed. I go over to the Sherwin-Williams, like we literally have one like a minute walk away. And I've gone there so many times that the guy that's usually working there knows me my name and I just, I love Sherwin-Williams. So I definitely recommend from Sherwin-Williams, there is a color called Online, which is a gorgeous like gray toned or a blue toned gray, gray toned blue. Um, and then there's also one called Stardew, which is a little bit more saturated than Online. Online's a little bit more gray toned. Um, but both of those, Online and um, Stardew, are really, really pretty um, grayish blue colors. So, yes, that is the end of this vlog. It is almost 1.30 in the morning. Francis and I have both been putting off going to bed because he doesn't want to work in the morning and I don't want to go to my dentist appointment because I'm very afraid. So, wish me luck tomorrow. I will be hopefully vlogging tomorrow. Probably none of the dentist but possibly the after <laughs> aftermath of that of me probably having a very um numb mouth and maybe looking like a crazy person and talking like a crazy person so yes that's gonna be everything for this vlog hopefully you guys enjoyed there wasn't really much of a point of this vlog it was just me going throughout my day so i'm not sure what i'm gonna title this um but i did work we did play some board games that sort of thing and we had some fun trying on some pants. So that's pretty much everything for this vlog. I love you guys so much. Be sure to thumbs up the video. It helps my channel so, so much. Hit the subscribe button if you have yet to do so. And then also put a question down below for me to answer in tomorrow's vlog. That is everything. I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile. Also, my hair is like absolutely ridiculous. Um, remember, you are somebody's reason to smile. And I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, guys. Bye.